Hannah, have you ever thought of doing other content beside a 24-hour readathon? Good evening, Buckies. My name's Hannah. It is... What time is it? It is 11.34 at night. And you know what that means. We have 26 minutes before I start a 24-hour readathon. Let's get started. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a readathon. It's been a hot minute since I've done anything. But tonight, since my sleep schedule is so out of whack, I decided that I'm going to do a 24-hour readathon and get as many pages read as I can. Um, I'm already kind of prepared for it. I bought a ton of snacks. I have a coffee maker upstairs getting ready to go. Like, I am ready. So now all that's left is to really wait and choose the books that I'm reading tonight. So I'm going to choose two, and then Amelia and Emily are going to choose one each and I'm gonna to try to hopefully get through at least two of them so I'm gonna pick my two and then I'll go get them okay so my first one is House Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones I love this movie it's one of my favorite movie spoiler alert it's one of my favorite movies of all time I bought the book the other day and I am excited to read it my next book is Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Cassandra, it's not Cassandra Clare, it's Sarah J. Mass. See, I'm so out of the loop. I started reading this a couple days ago. Um, I will minus the pages that I've already read from it. I haven't gotten very far. I will not include the pages that I've already read in the actual page, you know, equal. What is it called? Total at the end of this 24 hours. Now let's go get a million, Emily. It's 11.30 at night, Emily is tired, so here she is. I don't even know where the camera's at. There it is. There she is. She's really tired, but she's gonna pick a book for me. So Emily, if you would. I'm also blind, so I can't read anything. Okay, so this shelf is my TBR. There's literally no other shelf with TBR on it. Try to see like a, a good old blind. Do you want to? Feel it with your heart, Emily. Oh. Careful, because that shelf is also tipping precariously. Did you put a nail on the wall? Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at your beautiful color. If you watched my videos, you wouldn't know that. You can choose whatever. I might go blind too. It seems fun. Oh, nice. Three Dark Clowns. Cl clowns? Oh my god. Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. Alright, that's three. Okay, I get you one? Yep. From this shelf. Amelia, Amelia, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wicked by Jennifer L. Armin Trout. Wow, this is an old one. <laughs> That's four books. <laughs> hey, let me just say real quick, one of you disappointed me, one of you did not. Me? I didn't disappoint. I... Bye! Night, love you. See you tomorrow. Sleep is for the week. So recap, we got Wicked by Jennifer L. Armentrout and Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I don't know how I feel about those. One of, like the Wicked one is so old, it's been on my shelf for like so long that I'm kind of like mm, about it, but we'll see. All right, it is 11.41. We have 19 minutes before we get this whole thing started, so I will see you guys in 19 minutes. It's 12 o'clock. And I'm making coffee. So I'm gonna have to add a couple minutes onto my time at the end of this. Yay. All right, got my coffee. Go downstairs and start. Okay. It's 12.02, so I'm gonna have to add like three minutes onto my Final timer at the end of the, this. I got my coffee, got my muffin, gonna grab my books, gonna get in the bed, and let's get going. We're gonna start with Howl's Moving Castle. My coffee, got my muffin, got my cat. It's 1.34 in the morning, I'm 96 pages in to House Movie Castle and I love it. I just got up to change my clothes but I am in love with it. House Moving Castle is one of my favorite movies so I was really excited to get into this. There's a lot of things that are changed 
but I'm still in love with it. So I'm really excited. I'm glad I picked this one up first. So I mean, I can, I feel like this could be one of my favorite books here pretty soon. And I know it's like a trilogy. So I was thinking of going to the bookstore tomorrow and like I was planning on going tomorrow anyway, but uh, hopefully I'll find the other two. This was like in the children's section at the bookstore, which is this a children's book? I'm not even sure, but I am in love with it so far, so let's keep going. probably can't see that but it is 5:22 in the morning and I have officially finished house moving castle oh my god I think this is one of my favorite books the movie I don't even know how to describe it it was crazy um I mean it's 5:20 in the morning I'm very tired so this is probably not gonna come out in English at all so I'll try my best the movie and the book are alike until a certain point and then it just goes completely different directions. Um, I loved this. This was fantastic. I'm going to look for the second one tomorrow because I'm pretty sure there's a second one. Okay, so there's a second one called Castle in the Air. I don't know if it's about Howl and Sophie, which if it's not, I don't know if I want to read it. I'm, I'm just horrible like that though, like I don't want to read books if they're the second one's not about the first characters. Okay, so from what I understand, the second one, Sophie and Hal are in it a little bit, which is fine. I still might try to pick it up tomorrow if they have it. But still, this book was amazing and I loved it and it's going on my favorite shelf. So now I just have to choose the next book to get started on. And I probably need more coffee. Okay, I'm not going to sit down for this, but I'm going to continue reading... Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So I'm gonna get comfy and continue with that. back in my room because um my niece and nephew showed up and I'm not getting any reading done upstairs so now I'm back downstairs and I have not gotten very far but I'm gonna keep going hello Charlie oh yeah you want your you want your snack It is. It is 11.42, so it's almost noon. I've almost been at this for 12 hours. Now, here's why I'm updating you guys. 
One, I took an hour and a half nap. No big deal, I just needed it. Two, I woke up at like, what time did I wake up? I think I woke up at like 11.20. So it's been 22 minutes that I haven't been reading. I had a couple chores to do, so it's no big deal. I've lost like two hours of reading, it's fine. But, okay, so I like this book, right? I like it a lot, it's like a really good book so far. But it's going so slowly and I don't understand why. I don't know if it's because I was tired. But I'm only on page 202 and I started on page 100 like hours ago. Hours and hours ago. So I'm going to keep reading this. Uh, I might change up location. I might, you know, might go sit in my pool, lounge in my pool at one point today. Um, I have to go to the store at one point and I was going to run to the bookstore. So that'll be later probably at like three or four or so so we've got a couple more hours but I'm gonna try to crack on in this and hopefully I get a little farther than I've been going so let's get to that Well, I'm back from the bookstore. It's almost six o'clock, so only six more hours of this. But, um, I got so many books at the bookstore. No, I only got one. And I honestly only got the original copy of Howl's Moving Castle because I loved it so much last night that I was like, oh, here's the original. Like, I'll show you. I only got this for three dollars because it's used a little worse, like, worse for wear, but it's the original print, so... Now I have two of them. And then I bought a lot of posters, so I'm going to hang up the posters real quick. And then I'll get back to reading. again with the reading. Um, we have five hours and 45 minutes. Baby girl. <laughs> you just had colonoscopy. <laughs> I need another blanket. That's disgusting. Oh, it's good. It's terminated. We are 2390. Is there an Aladdin retelling? Yes. You've read it. I have? Yeah. Who won? It's. Um, th that's not the answer for this, but The Wrath and the Dawn is A Thousand and One Nights, which is an Aladdin thing. The Wrath and the Dawn? Right there. What's that about? Oh my god. Arabian Nights, and Arabian Nights, more often than not, are hotter than hot, in a lot of good ways, Arabian Nights. 
already has the right book, so I'll just grab one. Would you be right? Say it like you're Gru. Girl. 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 Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Yeah, no. None of those three. None of those. None of those. Does that one have a dragon on it? Are you I can't see one. Tell me what that is. Tell me what that is. I know what that is. Oh, okay. Uprooted. By no, it's not. It is. No, it's not, because mm -hmm. I read the back of Uprooted and that did not sound like it at all. There's a wizard named the dragon in Uprooted. You literally read the back one. Hmm, sounds good. Sold. <laughs> yeah. You're my babe. What babe? Babe, the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do? You do. Do what? Babe. I don't want to open my eyes. Are you ready? <laughs> Can't you see I'm legally blood? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 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 you can grab it. <laughs> My knee? Interesting. I know you touched my drum set. Out of my face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys are being so much. I finally got at least a little. <laughs> I've never been able to feel a pulse in the wrist. Ten seconds. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm dead now. Five seconds. Door. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was doing more of a dog. You were covering everything up. Okay, it is, um, it is 12.11, the readathon is officially over, um, I have to say, I'm oddly awake for staying up for 24 hours, I mean, technically it was more than 24 hours, but you know how that whole thing goes, I did sleep for an hour and a half, but I'm still surprised I'm awake, <laughs> um, I am also probably going to be missing some footage because like the last hour or so I was trying to come up with a like a game I could do for my channel with Emily and Amelia. So I'm missing about an hour of reading time, but uh, I will tell you everything that I got done. So I finished one whole book, which was How's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. It is now one of my favorite books ever. That was 429 pages, and then I got 278 pages done of House of Earth and Blood, which doesn't seem like a lot, but again, I was doing stuff today, but I'm proud of myself because I finished a book, and I'm almost halfway through with this one. Like, this is a huge book, so I'm glad I actually read a book. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to edit a little bit tonight and then probably crash and then I will see you guys later. So thank you so much for joining me. Bye!